Hey YouTube, I am back once again with a tarot deck review. I got this Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot about a month and a half ago. And ever since I got it and opened it, I swear it's been like pulling me with wild horses to getting me away from this tarot deck. It's about how much effort you got to use to get it away from me. I love this deck. Just first fresh out of the box, the energy was just so nice and it reads so beautifully. And while it does get a little bit of scratching, um, I don't know how well that can show up. There's a little bit of scratching in the surfaces. That is just because of the material. It is that plasticky type and it's just what's going to happen. There's nothing I can do about that. That's coming in contact with my nails, with the other cards, with jewelry. That's just wear and tear of the cards. Um, this is my first plasticky type deck, but I'm glad that I've learned on this one and I will save the Mystic Mondays the same by giving a little bit more care. <clears throat> Excuse me, care. Um, I do feel like I can prevent this getting any worse as well since now that I know what's happening, I can be more careful. I can shuffle a little bit more open-handedly, keep my rings away from it, all of that. All in all, this, this deck is just, it's beautiful. It's holding up. I'm not seeing any peeling, no bending of the corners. That is the only thing. It's just a little bit of scratching in the front and that's it. And I have put this thing through heavy use. If you notice, um, my very first requested reading was done with this deck. And this is my go-to. I'll put it that way. This has become my go-to. I like the original blueback Rider Waite Smith, but I feel like the borders make it easy, or I'm sorry, being borderless makes it easier for me to read. And it makes it easier for me to see it when the colors are so bright. Like look at how vibrant that Ace of Cups is. If you haven't watched my unboxing and flip through video, go check it out because these cards are just super stunning. The color is amazing. Like look at the Seven of Cups. This is just beautiful. I liked the Rider Waite Smith deck. I was able to learn from it. I was able to start reading from it. I love this deck and this has definitely become my go-to and quickly become my favorite. The Mystic Mondays is right up there becoming my second favorite. Like each new deck you're all, you're going to be attached to, but this has nothing has been able to break my attachment to this. And it almost feels like I'm betraying it whenever I read with a different deck. And I mean, just look at this, look at this card. Look how pretty this colors and so bright and it's just, I love it. Like I try and make an effort to at least do my card of the day every day with a different deck. But when it comes to readings, this is usually the one I go to. If I don't, it's for a reason. Um, I had tried to do it with my Game of Thrones deck. And if you watch the review I just posted, you'll see why that had to stop. So this one it is. It is a little pricey. It was $25 plus shipping and handling and tax, but the quality makes it worth the money. If you're looking to invest in something that'll last, go with this deck for real. Um, I will have a link in the description box where you can get it from Amazon, which is where I got it from. And um, of course you'd probably be able to get it at any metaphysical or bookstore near you. But if you don't have to go out, why, why go out, you know? So that has been my review of the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Definitely go pick it up if you haven't already. And I'm going to go break in some more decks so that I can have some more reviews for you in the coming months or coming weeks. And probably in the next day or two, I'm going to be back with my first general pick a card reading. All right, guys, stay tuned and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you know when it gets posted. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.